Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are confused what integrated MTech course is, whether it's a right choice for you and is VIT a good choice, yes, you are at the right place. All your questions are going to be cleared in this video. So let's get started. What is integrated MTech? How does it differ from BTech? and followed by MTech. So integrated MTech is a dual degree course of five years where you will be doing your undergraduate and postgraduate together for five years which you will save a one year. Time and cost efficiency. Firstly you will get two degrees in a span of five years instead of six years and then you can save your tuition fee as well as time also then you can you, you don't need to apply separately for any other entrance exams for mtech for example gate early specifications research oriented mtech subjects enabling deeper specialization from early on and later ideal for you if you are aiming for phd or any research works for all the confusion in your head first you should answer yourself where does your interest lie if it's towards some research and development phd or mtech Opting for an integrated MTech would reduce one year and you can save up to one year. If you are interested in some foreign MS courses, then opting for an BTech course will save you one year. Or if your interest is not all this, if you want to see yourself in some uh, business background, then opting for a normal BTech and then going for MBA for two years would save you one year. So purely you should understand where your interest is so that you can choose wisely so you will not have to waste one more year or you will not have to spend one extra year wasting now coming into the most anticipated topic integrated mtech in vit so many of you have joined might have joined by now or now you you might be wondering how we integrated mtech is in vit how does it actually work how your five years are gonna be so all your questions will be answered now Fr starting from admissions so there is no entrance particular entrance exam for integrated mtech your admission is purely based on your ip score ip score is an intermediate performance score where you will have to upload both your intermediate first year and second year marks together if your IP score is more than 900, you will have the better chance to be getting a seat in VIT. So, the more IP score you have, the better category you're, you're getting into. So, now next are coming into categories, uh, fee structure. Ca there are five total of five categories in VIT, starting from 96,000 for first category, ending up till 250,000 for fifth category. The better your IP score, the better category you will have and the better amount of uh, money you can save. Next up we have campus wise specializations. Uh, first going with VIT Vellore, we have three options available. First one is CSC Core, second one is Data Science, third one is Software Engineering. Going to Chennai, we have two specializations available. First one is Data Science and the other one is Software Engineering. The same thing with Amravati, software engineering is the first one and the other one is business analytics. Depending upon your interest and location preference, you can choose the best one. Going into academics, the students will have to finish 225 credits in a span of 5 years. VIT follows a system called FFCS, fully flexible credit system, where you can choose your faculty, you can choose the credit load per semester and you can choose either you want the subjects to classes to be held in the morning or evening so the timetable is in your hand exam pattern in VIT every semester you have to do your CAT 1, CAT 2 and FAT CAT 1 and CAT 2 are like your midterms FAT is like your final assessment and in between you will have to submit your assessments for labs and theories as well for assessments in labs you have to submit total of 5 assessments that also depends upon your faculty and it's up to them how many ever they want to give you and coming to theory you will have to do either quizzes or 
assignments you have to submit that also depends upon your faculty however they want to take they can take three assignments or they can take three quiz or they can take two quiz one assignment three assignment anything it's up to them out of 225 credits five credits will be coming under non credit course in which three will be environmental science which you will have to be doing it in your first year two will be coming from your clubs which you'll have to separately register for that state in credits are gonna be your capstone project credits capstone project is like your final year project which you'll be doing it in your final year you'll be doing it in offline on campus and simultaneously you can do your normal credits if you haven't completed them in your four year span usually it, it it works better when you finish most of your credits by four years itself so if you put limited amount of credits for the last year the load for you in fifth year will be very less so you can concentrate more, more on your project and do well other than this 18 credits for capstone and five credits of non credit courses rest everything will come under all your subject subject credits so in which you will have only theory subjects and theory plus lab components also each subject usually carries 3 to 4 credits. You should finish all these 225 credits in 5 years. Then only you will be given with your certificate. Going into placements, myth or versus reality. Lot of you ha must have heard this question like is BTEC student given more preference than MTEC student? All that is a myth. There is nothing that BTEC student is given more preference than an integrated MTEC student. All of it depends upon your hard work, skill, performance in an interview and knowledge. So don't ever believe that BTEC student is given more preference than an integrated MTEC student. It's purely on your skill, how you perform in an interview. So if you ask me what is the minimum CGPA you have to maintain to sit in the placements. 6.5 is the minimum CGPA you should maintain to sit in placements. So the best what you can maintain is 8 but you should minimum have 6.5 to sit in the placements. So if you are a person who can maintain 9 CGPA then you are free from 75% minimum attendance. So you don't need to maintain 75% attendance in VIT are offered with a special program called foreign exchange program in which the students are given special permissions to go to University of Kansas for doing their rest two years in that university so students are awarded with two certificates a three-year course certificate from VIT and two-year course certificate from Tech University of Kansas so there will be limited amount of students selected every year so if you are interested in doing two year studies in that university you will have to apply for it then all the expenses flight tickets the stay expenses everything has to be done by you college is not gonna provide any so that's it for today's video hope this video helped lot clearing lot of your questions if any of the topics or questions are unanswered or unclear you can feel free to comment down in the comment section and we'll be responding shortly thank you for watching like share and subscribe to my channel bye bye